Oh, that was Pennywise, the dancing thick clown right there. Oh my goodness. And I'm Jazzy Wise, the female it clown. I did the best I could do. You did, you did, you debate. tried, I know, I know. I tried. So, you did a good job, you did a good job. Now, I feel so weird, I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel so weird with this on my lips. Mm -hmm. Like, it feels like wax. If it does. Yeah, it's like a candle. Like a candle? Yes, okay. I like, I always lick my lips and I can't do that right now. Yeah. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, so we had 12 horror stories animated compilation of September 2019. Happy Halloween, by the way. Yes. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you guys have any requests, please follow us on social media and link in the world. Don't forget to subscribe again. <laughs> Let's dive on in. I almost kidnapped my strangers use with using online <laughs> transactions. Oh, God. And this happened five years ago when I was 19. <clears throat> I was conducting okay. an online transaction on a site called Alx. I was about to say eBay. Which is similar to Craigslist. <laughs> oh, no. It's an online app where you can see items being sold by random strangers. No, don't trust And me. all you have to do is make a call and meet up. Don't trust I was me. looking for a cheap sweater for my trip to Japan the following week. Mm. After several minutes of scrolling, I came across an ad with exactly what I was looking for. Mm. A Korean-style female fur sweater for just 300 Korean pesos. Style. About $6. It was perfect. Mm. I had issue with it. The meetup point was at the LRT train station at 8 p.m. Because the seller was to too busy at work. I decided, what the heck? It's a public place anyway. Mm. Okay. I called the owner and we had a <clears> quick <throat> convo. He sounded like a strict guy. But I asked him when we could meet up. He responded, tonight at 8 p.m. sharp. I said, sure. Mm. But okay. this recklessness of mine is what I regret the most. I arrived at the meeting place at 7.58 p.m. It was really empty. Mm. And I was sure I was the only person in the station. It was a cold night in November. And I eagerly awaited warming myself with my coat. <laughs> Honestly, I'm the kind of girl who's comfortable wearing a sweater even when it's hot. I was okay. sitting on a bench when the clock ticked 8 o'clock. When suddenly someone covered half of my face with a scarf with a really strange scent. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chlorophore. Chlorophore? Yeah. As I woke up, oh, one I of found those. myself in a van I'm not of four guys, my wrists handcuffed behind my back. Oh, no. I asked the man what they wanted and to please let me go. Trafficking. Tears yeah. began to fall from my eyes. But then one of the guys touched my face and said, It's our first time ever tasting a beautiful girl like you. Can so I kept on crying and shouted, Please, I want to go home. Please. The guy next to me choked me, shouting that I needed to shut up. I tried to resist, but my eyes started to roll back in my head. Oh, my God. I stopped. But it was taking a long time for me to catch my breath. I looked out the window and saw a checkpoint lane. For the first time in my life, I was so glad that the authorities had permission to check the van. Yes. But the guy next to me reached for a gun. <gasps> A really big gun. Uh -oh. oh my goodness. Knowing this was my only chance, I found the strength to shout and cried out, Officer, please help! They have a gun! The two officers immediately grabbed their guns, one shooting at the tires, the other aiming for the man next to me. Ooh. The officer shot him in the head. I never thought I'd witness such a thing in my life. One of the officers carried me out of the van, and I passed out moments later. I woke up the next day in a hospital okay. bed. My parents were there, crying and asking <coughs> me what happened. I told them the truth, that I was buying a sweater online. But I suddenly snapped. I cried and cried saying, please help, please help. Oh, Since then, I've had to go to a psychiatrist oh to recover from mental instability <coughs> and anxiety. I bet. And it should go without saying, but I never, ever want to buy anything online. Thank you. Ever again. D don't meet up for a shirt. Don't, don't meet. I don't uh, even trust uh, Craigslist like yeah, at all. Crazy when I was seven or eight years old, my parents used to take me to this beach cafe in our town. It had a pool and the cafe. cafe was right next to the beach. The family that owned the cafe were my family's close friends. So mm -hmm. I spent a lot of my childhood there. Cool. The best mm -hmm. part about the beach is that when you pass the cafe and the playground, there was a lot of sand and a net for volleyball. As kids, my friends and I would always play there. It's One ordinary different. summer night, there was quite yeah, a few of us playing in the sand, making castles and doing other things. Mm. 
All of a sudden, I heard a noise behind me in the bushes, right where the sand ended. <clears throat> I should mention that there were woods around the whole place, but it wasn't deep or anything. I was a brave kid, so I just brushed it off as being a cat or animal of some sort and continued to play. However, when I looked up at my friends who were now quiet and staying still, I got the chills. I noticed that all of their eyes had widened. They were staring at me, or rather at whatever was behind me. Oh, right. The shock kicked in, and I felt like I was going to faint. Mm -mm. I started shaking. I didn't even want to turn around. So the friend's not gonna help? Yes. Yeah, so something cold on the back of my neck. a knife. That was the last straw. Mm. I started running full speed towards the cafe <laughs> filled with people, and my friends immediately followed behind me. There were six children crying and screaming at the top of our lungs. I remember finally clinging to my mom and crying in her arms. Soon after, the sound of sirens followed by police cars parked in front filled the air. When the adults talked to the police, my friends and I were confused. I still didn't know what was behind me, so I asked my oldest really friend say. in the group who was 10 years old and talking to his dad. It turns out that there was this crazy old guy who robbed a lady and stabbed her to death not so far away from here. Wow. My friends told me he appeared behind me smiling like a sick clown. He was holding a knife and pressing it against the back <laughs> of my neck. That must have been the cold thing I felt. From then on, I never stayed far away from the cafe when the sun went down. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, they caught the guy. <laughs> Thank you. Creepy old lady stalker. Mm. Why is it always old people in these stories? Like they're always like killers this or ghosts or something. This happened a little over 20 years ago. I was 10 years old and my sister was six. We grew up in a small town raised only by our hardworking mother. Mm. It started when school was nearly finished for the year. The nights were late because my sister was up all night crying about a witch. Oh. Anyway, my mother started receiving odd calls once in a while at work. I need one of your children. Excuse me? Oh, no. <laughs> she was a stupid prank and ignored it. Mm -hmm. But then she started <clears throat> receiving calls daily. Eventually, she was receiving a call most nights mm. at our home. Whoa, how? She reported it to the police. <laughs> And they said whoever was calling was using random pay phones. <clears throat> there wasn't much they could do about mm. it. Mm. So it might have been the they 90s, can't trace 80s it. or 90s. So she right. had both her work and home number changed. Do pay phones still exist? One night around 10 or so, so. Mm. there was a frantic knock on her door. Mom looked out through the window and saw a lady with long hair in her <clears> 60s. <throat> Not knowing her, Mom went near the locked door and asked what she wanted. The lady asked if she could come inside no. because she was in a car accident. No, but you not hurt. Mom said she would call the police for her and told her to wait outside. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There was a pause. She didn't like that answer. No, she did no. not. No, don't call the cops. So. Mom thought this was strange and started walking to the phone. <laughs> Immediately the again, a banging <clears throat> on the door. Mom ran to the phone and looked out the window to see the lady staring at her. Oh, oh that's why you, oh, that's no. why you put a little... Said, you put a little frost there. Dorothy Margaret, I want one of your children. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're not. Dorothy Margaret, I want one of your children. She kept repeating it until Mom noticed flashing people. lights of police they gonna approaching. Catch that 12 game. And she left. They gonna, all they're going to hear is that the police searched everywhere. to go kept a car outside each night for a week nothing wow mm -mm -mm. a few weeks later summer finally started and my sister wasn't having the nightmares anymore about the witch but we were at one of my baseball games and my mother was talking to the teacher at my sister's school and telling her what happened and the teacher said oh it sounds like your stepmother Mom looked back confused and said what? she doesn't have a stepmother. The, the teacher's face turned white. <clears throat> a while ago, a lady in her 60s would come watch the children play at lunch. Mm -hmm. 
She said she was my mother's stepmom and liked to watch my sister at lunch. She reported it again to the police oh my God. and they checked camera footage. Sure enough, on a faraway park bench, there was an old lady most lunch times. Oh my I noticed she was always <clears throat> coming from the woods. So the police did a search and found an old shanty shack type of place. It had old blankets and a fire pit. And it had pictures she had drawn of us. Those look pretty accurate. That was the last time we ever heard of her. Oh when no. When summer was ending, my sister started having the nightmares of the witch again. Yep. Mom asked why she was getting scared again. And she said, because she comes to school and watches us. Well, now we know. The witch was the old lady. <laughs> How do they keep allowing this lady on the premises? Exactly. That I met a terrible is. creep at a McDonald's restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was running errands with my husband one day when I was six months pregnant. The day started out normal as we took the subway together. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I felt nauseous and I could feel that I had to vomit no. immediately. I quickly gave my bag to my husband and told him I had to run to the nearest bathroom. Mm -hmm. I bolted away at the next stop as I could not hold it in any longer. As I exited the underground, I ran into the nearest restaurant, a McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I hurried to the bathroom where I passed a middle-aged man who was standing at the entrance of the bathroom. Oh. I paid no attention and pushed past him to get in. As I finally arrived to the bathroom, I immediately started puking. I never felt so sick my entire life. That's when the door handle of the bathroom started moving. I quickly pushed the door to keep it closed and yelled that it was busy. But the person on the other side he didn't pushed care. back. Right. As that person managed to push harder, I saw the guy that was at the entrance. Mm -mm. He had curly hair. I freaked out and slammed the door Where's shut the and started yelling. I have no idea. He didn't follow her. The man was insistent and kept trying to. My and nobody sees this. Why? Hello, so customer, I somebody. So I was left with trying to hold the door with my foot as he kept banging it harder and harder. I continued yelling in the direction of the window of the stall as I heard people saying that there was a girl who needed help. Suddenly, the guy stopped banging the door and everything got quiet. I tried to calm myself down while still holding the door shut just in case. Then, I saw curly hair. Oh, oh my god. No. No. I'm stepping on you. had a pretty large gap. I'm stepping on you. I started on your face. screaming again as I started kicking There yes, you go. Face. Kick him. Yes, there you go. At this point, I was desperate. Kicking I had hard. no phone, no bag, and my husband was probably roaming the city looking for me. He should have got up and got I heard a man so. yell, and the creep suddenly getting away quickly. I kept the door shut when I heard a male voice telling me to come out and that it was okay. I reluctantly opened the door to find the manager of the McDonald's confused and hmm. shocked. How are you not hearing all this? I told him what happened and he called the police. Oh, it might be one of those. The commotion, three, those love different levels. My husband finally now. found Maybe. me. When the police arrived, Yo, I'd be so I gave mad. the police yeah. a description, but they never found the guy. I'd be so mad at the husband. Like, so you mean to tell me? But she didn't tell him where she went. Wife. She didn't tell him. But I'm she saying, she you never follow. What do you mean? I, I'm gonna try to find you, but she <coughs> didn't tell him where he, she was going. I know, but I'm saying you wouldn't have to tell them if you would just follow me where I'm going. But I would actually be like running with like, you. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah, if, if you're was, running, yeah, I'm, I'm running with you. Yeah, I'm a pregnant woman and yeah. I'm trying to run somewhere. Mm -hmm. You better follow me. He ain't really care about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you better follow me. Look, look, look. What? Plot twist. He hired the guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna end it right here. It's gonna be a short, short little bit. We're gonna end it right here. We're gonna continue this tomorrow. I know it's gonna be what November first. Yeah, we're but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna finish this. Yes, we're gonna. I, 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 those are some good stories though. So I'm ready to finish this out. That first one, that like, first. you've never seen like the animated one where they show like blood being splattered yeah. by being shot. Yeah, so, I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.
Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment below. Let's go. Sorry, don't forget to like. Subscribe. And share.